Good morning, good morning. Welcome back to Coffee in the Word. Grace and peace to you from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. I hope and pray that you're doing well this fine morning. Oh, I'm just coming from a from a workout this morning and it's just the heat that we've been having. It was so nice. It was 68 degrees and I was out there as the sun was coming up and the fog rolling in. It was beautiful morning out. Beautiful. Felt amazing. Oh, all right. Well, let's get to today's readings. Uh, we're going to start off once again in Psalm 77. Let me check my mic and make sure. Yeah, we're working. Psalm 77. Then we're going to Nehemiah. I have not been there in a while. And then we're going to finish it up in Romans. So, Psalm 77. And as always, may God bless the reading of his word. I cry aloud to God, aloud to God, and he will hear me. In the day of my trouble, I seek the Lord. In the night, my hand is stretched out without wearying. My soul refuses to be comforted. When I remember God, I moan. When I meditate, my spirit faints. Selah. You hold my eyelids open. I am so troubled that I cannot speak. I consider the days of old, the years long ago. I said, let me remember my song in the night. Let me meditate in my heart. Then my spirit made a diligent search. Will the Lord spurn forever and never again be favorable? Has his steadfast love forever ceased? Are his promises at the end, of, end for all time? Has God forgotten to be gracious? Has he in anger shut up his compassion? Selah. Then I said, I will appeal to this to the years of the right hand of the Most High. I will remember the deeds of the Lord. Yes, I will remember your wonders of old. I will ponder all your work and meditate on your mighty deeds. Your way, O God, is holy. What God is great like our God? You are the God who works wonders. You have made known your might among the peoples. You, with your arm, redeemed your people and the children of Jacob and Joseph. When the waters saw you, O God, when the waters saw you, they were afraid. Indeed, the deep trembled. The clouds poured out water. The skies gave forth thunder. Your arrows flashed on every side. The crash of your thunder was in the whirlwind. Your lightnings lighted up the world. The earth trembled and shook. Your way was through the sea, your path through the great waters. Yet your footprints were unseen. You led your people like a flock by the hand of Moses and Aaron. And that's good stuff. Yeah. Excuse me. Coming from these workouts, I just, I just keep sweating for hours. It seems so. Excuse me. <laughs> All right. Uh, Nehemiah chapter 9, verses 9 through 15. And here we go. And you saw the affliction of our fathers in Egypt and heard their cry at the Red Sea and performed signs and wonders against Pharaoh and all his servants and all the people of his land. For you knew that they acted arrogantly against our fathers and you made a name for yourself as it is to this day. And you divided the sea before them so that they went through the midst of the sea on dry land. And you cast their pursuers into the depths as a stone into mighty waters. By a pillar of cloud you led them in the day, and by a pillar of fire in the night to light for them the way in which they should go. You came down on Mount Sinai and spoke with them from heaven, and gave them right rules and true laws, good statutes and commandments, and you made known to them your holy Sabbath and commanded them commandments and statutes, and a law by Moses your servant. You gave them bread from heaven for their hunger, and brought water for them out of the rock for their thirst. And you told them to go into, go in to possess the land that you had sworn to give them. That's good stuff. Good stuff. Oh, and that's good coffee. All right, next. Romans. Chapter 14, verse 13, through chapter 15, verse 2. And uh, this is uh, starting off, says, Do not cause another to stumble. Therefore, let us not pass judgment on one another any longer, but rather decide never to put a stumbling block or hindrance in the way of a brother. I know and am persuaded in the Lord Jesus that nothing is unclean in itself, but it is unclean for anyone who thinks it unclean. For if your brother is grieved by what you eat, you 
are no longer walking in love by what you eat. Do not destroy the one for whom Christ died. So do not let what you regard as good be spoken of as evil. For the kingdom of God is not a matter of eating and drinking, but of righteousness and peace and joy in the Holy Spirit. Whoever thus serves Christ is acceptable to God and approved by men. So then, let us pursue what makes for peace and for mutual upbuilding. Do not, for the sake of food, destroy the work of God. Everything is indeed clean, but it is wrong for anyone to make another stumble by what he eats. It is good not to eat meat or drink wine or do anything that causes your brother to stumble. The faith that you have, keep between yourself and God. Blessed is the one who has no reason to pass judgment on himself for what he approves. But whoever has doubts is condemned if he eats, because the eating is not from faith, for whatever does not proceed from faith is sin. We who are strong have an obligation to bear with the failings of the weak, and not to please ourselves. Let each of us please his neighbor for his good, to build him up. And this is the word of the Lord. All right. Pray now, App, and the prayer of the day. Let us pray. O Lord, grant that the course of this world may be so peaceably ordered by your governance that your church may joyfully serve you in all godly quietness. Through Jesus Christ our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. All right. Well, I hope and pray that you all have a fantastic day. So with that, Be safe, be happy, and be blessed. And we'll see you tomorrow on Coffee and the Word. God bless.